it's time to develop your idea into a testable question. Serena, you had several really good ideas from our image. Can you pick one of those and lead us through how you might develop that into a testable question? Looking at the picture, I'd seen the plant growing out of the storm drain, and that might lead to questions of how do plants grow, under what conditions do they grow best. And so you want to just pick one idea, uh, one thing to test, so I might restrict my question to how much dirt does a plant need to grow? Or you could decide instead to test different fertilizers, but you want to pick one bite-sized science question and then use that to set up your science investigation. Okay, so you might be able to vary the amount of dirt, and we would want to keep track of the amount of dirt, mm -hmm. or the different types of fertilizers. Mm -hmm. um, how many types of fertilizers might you try? Generally, you want to experiment with probably at least three different options for each one. It'll, of course, depend on your science question, but if you just have one data point, of course, that doesn't really tell you anything. Uh, you need two to compare, and then three to really start seeing a trend, and then obviously more, if possible, is usually better. Okay, so you'll want to be sure to measure your results somehow. Um, measuring the results on a plant might involve it just depends on what you're measuring. If you're looking for the health of the plant, you could look at plant height. If it's a blooming plant, how many flowers perhaps come out. You could look at its root system perhaps. It just depends on what you're measuring. Okay, so the question would be something along the lines of how does this affect this? Mm -hmm. And your, your this and this would have to be specified very clearly so that we, you would be measuring either how does fertilizer affect plant growth in mm -hmm. height, or how does fertilizer affect the number of flowers. So you would need to make sure that you specify your input variable and your output expectation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Arby, tell me about one of the things you saw in this image that you could ask a question about and what your development of that question would entail. Well, like I said, being an engineer, first thing I think of is how to make things better. So I saw the car. And for you kids, I don't recommend borrowing your parents' car for this. Well, my idea is uh, get a mousetrap, and you can actually build a mousetrap car from this. There's two kind of cars. You can have one for distance, and you can have one for speed. So either pick first whether you want to build a hot rod or a Prius. How do you make a car go long distance with the same equipment? Four wheels, a mousetrap, and some sort of pulley and lever system to transfer the energy from the mousetrap to the wheels. You can change the wheel size, you can change the wheel diameter, you can change the kind of traction, the width of the wheels, you can change the length of the mousetrap arm, and playing with those variables you can arrive at a long distance car or a hot rod. There are instructions all over the internet on how to build a basic mousetrap car. So you can find that and then introduce your variable. Remember you want to ask your question, how does this affect this? And so perhaps, as Arby suggested, you would want to vary the wheel diameter and say, how does wheel diameter affect distance traveled? Or how does wheel diameter affect speed? Or even with the traction change, how does traction affect distance? Remember, both of your variables need to be measurable. So you need to be able to quantify your traction or your diameter and then measure your distance or your speed. Be sure to use a regular mousetrap and be careful not to catch your fingers. Join us next to see how we might conduct an experiment and develop our data collection mechanisms.